From the sidelines, we gotta hustle because we gotta eat. All right, fellas, here we go. Just want to talk about this daily wide receiver checklist. These are drills that you guys can do every single day to keep your game on point. All right, the first thing, get 100 catches every single day at a minimum. All right, but I don't want you guys just playing catch. Every time you're working these drills, you got to work a different eye angle, a different hand position, a different movement. You're trying to create chaos during these ball drills. Playing catch is not going to help you. All right, create chaos, different situations, 100 catches minimum every single day. All right, the next part is these do-it-yourself ball drills. These are great drills for developing ball skills, for developing hand-eye coordination. All right, do these every single day. If you're really committed to being the best, you can find 10 minutes to do three sets of this every single day. All right, first thing is ball taps, just ball control. Now you see around your waist, around your legs, around your head. Now they're going around the world. All right, just great shit for ball control. You should be dropping the football. You should be pushing yourself so hard that you drop the ball. You want to go as fast as possible while maintaining ball control. You can see this is the figure eight right here, and then they're going to go in the, re the reverse direction. That's a young Muhammad Sanu on the far right right here. Every single day, three sets each. All right, now we got the tennis ball progression. This is something I really believe in, all right? This is a great way to work your eyes, forcing your eyes to focus on a smaller target, and you teach yourself to track the ball all the way in. This is Jawan Winfrey of the Denver Broncos during his draft prep from last year. And you can see how much he's struggling with this. He wasn't very good in the beginning. All right, start off with two balls, two tennis balls, one in each hand. Get your eyes right, get your eyes right, slowly progress. Then you go to four balls total, two in each hand. Again, work different eye angles, different locations. Then as you get comfortable, you start to go to three balls each hand. The more balls you have in each hand, the smaller the landing area gets, the more you have to focus your eyes. Again, you can see how much Juwan is struggling with this. This is the first time we had done it. He was really bad at it at first. Okay, but then wait till you see the, the reps of him six months later when it becomes natural and you can see how much better his eyes have gotten. There's not a single ball drill that will train your eyes better than using tennis balls. Three in each hand is your goal. Watch the way his eyes are tracking the ball. This becomes effortless to him. Watch his last rep. Watch his eyes attach to the ball and freeze them right there. All right, then, of course, we got grip strength. All right, grip strength is essential. A lot of you guys, when, when you sent in your goals, you talked to me about wanting to get better at catching the ball in game situations. Okay, a big part of that is grip strength. The, the making those combat catches, making those fingertip catches in traffic, grip strength is essential. Do this every day. You can do plate flips, you can do brick catches. You just saw the tennis ball squeezes. These are the rice buckets. Every day, get three or four sets of each exercise. Get that grip strength right. You need strong forearms. You need strong fingers in order to make those tough catches in traffic. Fingertip push-ups are a great way. This is what we use for all accountability. You drop a football, you got 20 fingertip push-ups. Together like this. Exercise. I want you to move your fingers and get them to move down. Keep your palms straight, though, okay? And that's how you get the dexterity and the flexibility, okay? All right, now watch mine now, okay? You see that? That's what I want you to be able to do, where you can get it flat. You see how my thumb is down? Right, right. Your thumb's up that way. That's why you have to stretch your webbing, all right? And get this tight part out of your hand. You see how tight that is? Yeah. Now feel mine. Ain't nothing in there. Damn. You see that? Yeah. All right? Now you keep stretching them, you keep squeezing them, you gonna, have, you gonna have me in trouble in meetings. Like, oh, what no, you doing? That's what. That's how you get better. That's how you get better. Now, see my thumb? Yeah. Look at that. That's what. Your, your thumb is up like this. Yeah. You see that? My thumb down. Now that's better for a catcher's mitt. Right, right. Snatch it. Because I always got my thumb behind it compared to my thumb on the point. And how long you been doing that? Man, long, long time. Long time. Long time. That's what I do. Yeah. That's why I don't have dislocated fingers. That's why when I grab the ball, oh, it's mine. Oh, I know. Now I have this little test. Is your right hand stronger than your left? Which one is your strong? I'm probably saying my left. Okay, is it? Yeah. You sure? What, which Let's one? See yours? if you can grab it out my hand. Which way? Anyway? That's the best way. Yeah, pull it straight back. Oh, straight back. Yeah, straight back if you. Yeah, there you go. Where Hold you on, going? let me get some. Yeah, where, where you going? You got grease on your hand. You got dread, so you ain't got no hair grease. So what's up? Come on, one more time. Let, let's try that, that again. This ain't my strong hand either. Let me get the grip on it first. Okay, go right ahead. <laughs> go right ahead, youngster. Get it. Go ahead. Mmm. Put your head into it. Everything. Give it to, oh. yeah. 
All right, once we're done with the hand stretching and the ball drills and the grip strength and all that, we need to get our lower body right. You guys know I believe in the duck walk fully, okay? A big adjustment for the duck walk is getting your feet a little bit outside your framework because that's where you end up being in these game situations. But this is just a warm-up exercise. Get your feet right. Get used to playing on your insteps. All right, you can see my guys here. You see how violent their hips are moving back and forth. You want that good hip action, subtle movements down low, good hip action up top. Get those hips loose every single day and get used to playing on your insteps. After that, it's stance and start. All right, every great route starts with a great stance. Don't take it for granted. Don't just go through the motions. Get yourself focused, get your mind right, and you're looking for as little wasted movement of po as possible on the stance and start. Watch him pick his back leg up pretty effortlessly. He's balanced, and he's going to explode out with minimal wasted movement. Low to lower, good forward body lean. Next thing I'll say you guys got to do, you got to walk through a lot of these situations that you're struggling with, whether it's a specific route, a specific break point, maybe you're working on different releases, or you want to work on an overall plan against a certain coverage, just walk through this stuff, right? Some of you guys got to have some self-awareness and understand how you learn. Are you a visual learner? Are you an audio learner? Most of you guys need to walk through things before you really get it. Take the time, five minutes, 10 minutes a day, find something you struggle with, and walk through the break points, walk through the routes, walk through the releases of the line of scrimmage. All right, the, the, the way to improve is to get reps at things. You guys need reps. You need to accumulate reps over and over and over. Walking through these reps is a great way to save your legs, but still work the mental side of it and still work the technique part of it. This is when we first started introducing the break points and the footwork to the guys at Rutgers. And you can see a lot of them look really awkward. A lot of them suck at it, but it's a process. All right, as they walk through it, they got more and more comfortable and then they're running through it. And by the time we were done, they were all running pretty good routes. It's going, to be, it's going to take some time. It's going to be a process, but just spend your five to 10 minutes every day walking through stuff. All right, and the last part is film study. All right, this is just a little clip from me and Juwan during pre-draft training last year. We watched film every single night. All right, you got my Instagram page. You got, <clears throat> you have my Instagram page. You have other Instagram pages that you guys are following. You have YouTube resources, and you have your own game film. 10 to 15, 20 minutes a day, study some film, have one focus. One day you want to study coverages, one day you want to study releases, one day you want to study breakpoints, whatever it is, have a specific focus and get something accomplished every single day. And with all this said, the key to it is how you're talking to yourself. All right, Throughout this whole process, when we're trying to get ourselves right, we need to talk to ourselves the right way. Positive attitude, positive mindset, make sure you're checking your self-talk. Okay, we cannot afford to be talking to ourselves negatively, be putting bad thoughts into our head. The key to our success Right? Nothing is going to get accomplished unless we learn to talk to ourselves the right way. Positivity, motivation, control the voice that's in your head. And that's really going to help you get the most out of all this. From the sidelines, we got to hustle because we got to eat.